this new Linux UI is so beautiful. It doesn't even look like Linux anymore. And if you have been using Linux for years, you will understand why that sentence feels almost unreal to say. Because for so long, Linux desktops have been powerful, customizable, flexible, but not always visually polished enough to compete with commercial operating systems like Windows or Mac OS when it comes to sheer aesthetics and modern design language. Linux was functional. Yes. Efficient. Absolutely. But visually breath rarely. Yet something is happening right now in the world of Linux desktops. A new wave of design philosophy is emerging. One that blends minimalism, animation, smooth workflows, natural interface curves, blur effects, dynamic shadows, accent colors, global design coherence, and a sense of fluidity that feels premium. You look at it, you touch it, you use it, and you forget you are in Linux. It feels like a new OS entirely. Something futuristic, something elegant. Polished to a level we used to associate with multi-billion dollar corporate development teams. And that is the story we explore today, how Linux UI evolved into something so beautiful that it challenges the idea of what Linux is supposed to look like. Imagine booting into a brand new Linux desktop environment. Instead of the old traditional menu and panel layout, you're greeted with a clean home screen, transparent panel floating with a subtle blur behind it. Icons spaced with perfect symmetry. A dock that reflects modern material design. Smooth shadows elevating windows above the background, and a wallpaper that feels like something straight out of a premium Mac OS showcase or a paid Windows theme pack. You click the menu, and instead of a grid of basic icons, you see a visually rich app launcher with search animations, glowing hovers, scroll fluidity like butter, and transitions that feel alive. No lag, no stutter, just smooth natural motion. When you open settings, there isn't a scatter of old icons and cramped checkbox. Instead, there's a beautifully organized sidebar, neatly aligned categories, toggles that animate gently when switched, sliders with color feedback, a full system theme engine where you change accent, colors, corner radius, window opacity, even global style sheet appearance across apps, and the entire desktop adapts instantly. That level of visual responsiveness is something Linux historically lacked, yet today it's becoming normal. UI evolution in Linux is reaching a point where theme packs and extensions are no longer just optional additions, but integral to the experience. This new Linux UI, whether you imagine Cosmic Desktop, KDE, Plasma's redesigned interface, GNOME with modern extensions, Deepin's glossy aesthetics, or even emerging next-gen community desktops, all share one message. Linux wants to look beautiful now. Linux is done with plain and boring. It wants elegance, softness, warmth, visual coherence found in Mac OS. Combined with customization freedom that Windows users dream of, that combination is lethal in a good way. It gives users beauty without locking them down. It gives identity without restricting creativity. You are not stuck with one look. You can transform the interface a thousand ways. And yet, the default look is so polished you might never need to change anything. Let's imagine a user switching from Windows. They expect tiled windows, minimal animation, hard contrasts. When they open this new Linux UI, they don't see something technical. They see something artistic. They drag a window and it glides with elastic physics. They maximize it and the animation is gentle, not abrupt. They switch workspaces and the desktop flows like a scene transition in a movie. They open the file manager and instead of clunky boxed layouts, they see soft transparent sidebars, neon highlights, icon packs that look professionally designed, tabs like modern browsers, preview panes integrated elegantly. Every interaction feels intentional, thoughtful, designed, and most important, it feels consistent across the system. Consistency is something Linux struggled with for decades due to its modular nature, but this new UI wave is solving it. Developers are designing universal style standards, system-wide accent theming, unified iconography, adaptive color schemes that adjust to light and dark mode automatically. Windows lacks UI consistency. Mac OS is beautiful, but rigid. Linux is now beautiful and free. Consider the login screen. Instead of a basic box with username and password, you see a frosted glass panel, a blurred wallpaper behind it, maybe a tiny clock floating elegantly, and when you type your password, each dot glows softly. Touch the fingerprint sensor, and it unlocks with a ripple animation. Subtle details define premium experience, and Linux is learning premium details fast. Earlier, UI meant function first, 
design later. Now function and design move together. When you open notifications, the panel slides down with graceful motion. Widgets appear like cards on a desk. System tray icons align in harmony, not cluttered. Volume indicator has a sound wave animation. Brightness fades visually instead of jumping harshly. These micro interactions create immersion. They make the OS feel alive. Let's go even deeper. Imagine the settings for personalizing this UI. You choose a global theme, material blar, neon glass, old black, soft pastel, Nordic minimal, cyberpunk glow. You tweak corner radius, sharp, rounded. You enable acrylic transparency with dynamic blur that reacts to wallpaper colors. You switch icon packs like papyrus or tealer or fluent or deep in icon, instantly transforming the personality of the system. You adjust dock size, panel height, widget spacing, shadow strength. You apply light mode with warm whites or dark mode with AMOLED blacks that look richer than Mac OS dark mode. It's not just OS appearance, it's a visual identity. You feel like you're designing your own personal operating environment, like customizing a car interior. And the best part, you don't pay for themes. No subscription, new store lock. Everything is open, free, tweakable. Now imagine multi-monitor experience, smooth transitions, independent wallpapers, Scaling settings that respond gracefully instead of breaking layouts. Even Wayland is improving window rendering, making Linux look sharper on high refresh displays. Fractional scaling is smoother. Touchpad gestures feel natural. Three finger swipe to switch desktops. Pinch to overview. Two finger swipes with inertia. All of this gives an OS soul. Windows gestures exist, but feel mechanical. Mac OS gestures are great, but locked behind hardware ecosystem. Linux gestures now feel creative, fluid, customizable. Think about sound design too. A click could have a soft chime, a screenshot sound like a shutter, a notification like a short airy pop. Not intrusive, just tasteful. Visual and audio feedback merging into one artistic digital environment. Most people don't realize how much psychology UI design uses. Curves reduce stress. Animation eases perception. Blur creates depth. Color gradients stimulate focus. Linux UI designers now understand that. Now picture this. You open the new software center. Instead of lists, you see card style tiles with app screenshots, ratings, install button highlighted in accent color, categories pages look like a modern app store, games, productivity, design, multimedia, each page visually rich with thumbnails and curated suggestions. You click install on something and there's a smooth progress animation rather than terminal text. It feels like a top-tier commercial OS store. But remember, this is Linux. No ads, no bloatware, no pre-installed trials, just clean. Gaming UI on Linux also evolved visually. Steam running under this new UI blends perfectly. Proton runs games behind the scenes. No ugly compatibility windows. You launch a title and it feels native. Game mode panels show temperature, FPS, overlay in stylish fonts, not raw text blocks. Overlay widgets slide like HUD elements in AAA games. Even performance stats can look beautiful. We are witnessing something huge. Linux UI is entering a design renaissance. Creative designers are joining the open source world. UX thinking, typography, color, theory, motion, designy. These are being applied seriously. And when visuals combine with Linux performance efficiency, the experience becomes magical. You realize that beauty and freedom can coexist. Mac OS gives beauty but restricts control. Windows gives familiarity but lacks L. Linux is starting to give both. Let's explore daily workflow. You wake up, open your laptop, the lock screen background slowly brightens like sunrise animation. You log in, the wallpaper subtly moves like parallax effect. You open browser, edges glow slightly on hover. Tabs curve gently. Scroll is inertia smooth. Split screen snapping is magnetically satisfying. You press super key overview, grid appears with smooth zoom. You drag windows between workspaces, like sliding cards on a table. This doesn't look like Linux from years ago. This looks like the future of computing. Picture productivity scenarios. You drag a PDF into a workspace corner, window tiles perfectly with rounded shadows. You open a node app. Material style interface with stroke outlines and subtle elevation. You change theme to old black desktop becomes cinematic. Colors pop like neon in darkroom. Changing themes in Windows is dull. On Mac OS it's unified but limited. On Linux 
The theme change feels like changing the entire mood of your digital life. This UI evolution also changes perception of Linux itself. People used to say Linux feels like a tool. Now Linux feels like an experience. You could record this desktop and someone might think it's a concept OS from a design studio. Yet yeah, it's real, usable today. Imagine showing this UI to someone who never used Linux. They wouldn't believe it's Linux. That's how far design has come. And what's more beautiful is that this UI revolution is community driven. No corporation gatekeeping aesthetics. Developers and designers create because they love creation. They polish details because they want beauty in open computing. It's passion, not revenue, shaping UI. Now think about wallpapers. Linux distros now ship stunning art, deep gradients, abstract shapes, nature photography with cinematic editing. Combined with transparency and blur, wallpapers become part of UI composition. And dynamic wallpapers change scene with time of day. Daylight soft and airy, evening warm orange, night deep blue neon. System reflects emotion of time. Even terminal can look beautiful now. Transparent background with blur, neon cursor, smooth fonts like fire code, capuchin themes with lavender colors. Even code feels aesthetic. It's mind blowing that Linux, once considered visually behind, is now ahead in creativity. And as Wayland, Plasma, Sace, Cosmic Desktop, and future UI frameworks mature, we are going to see animations get even smoother. Transitions more cinematic, desktops more modular, widgets like futuristic holograms, global design AI-assisted theme generators, contextual UI that adapts based on task automatically. Imagine typing at night, UI dims blue light, background blur is stronger for focus, accent switches to soft tone, Imagine creativity apps docking automatically, touch gestures evolving, haptics integration with supported laptops. Imagine voice interface controlling desktops natively. The future is enormous. This new Linux UI is more than pretty visuals. It's a statement, a message to the world. Open source can be beautiful. Free software can feel premium. Community-driven design can rival billion-dollar ecosystems. And most importantly, Linux is not just for technical people anymore. It is for anyone who appreciates beauty, calmness, creativity, personalization, and performance. Windows users frustrated with ads could escape here. Mac OS users tired of walled garden could breathe here. New users wanting modern aesthetics will love it here. And longtime Linux users are smiling watching this evolution unfold. If you haven't tried this new UI yet, you must boot it, feel it, Breathe it. The first time you open the menu and see translucent blur glow under your cursor, you'll understand the excitement. The first time you drag a window and see smooth animation, you'll feel like you're touching the future. The first time you theme your desktop your own way, you'll realize this. OS belongs to you, not a corporation. This is not just Linux becoming beautiful. This is Linux redefining what beauty in OS means. And as this journey continues, something becomes clear. Linux doesn't just look like a modern OS now. It looks better, it feels better, it behaves better. This new Linux UI is so gorgeous, it doesn't look like Linux anymore, but maybe this beauty is what Linux was always destined to become.